What, what what in the world? What in the, the world? microphone's off? <clears throat> what in the world is that music? Ah, uh, you you dig that music? Bill bent over. What's going on, Dan? Freaking howdy! <laughs> I I was sitting there trying to figure out what it was there for a second. I was like, I know that. <laughs> is that like a new age metal version of the uh, Saul song? Yeah, I threw it on there because hopefully no trademarks. And number two. I had that saw thing on the uh, the intro, so I figured I'd stay in theme. Hey, why not? So what's going on, guys? How are you? How are you, how y'all doing? How you doing? Oh, I'm doing. I'm doing. Regan, <laughs> Regan, you doing? Dan Trail, you doing? I finally finished posting that we went live. Feeling pretty proud of myself. Oh, breaking and damn. We got some, we got some lurkers going on. Mm. Lurkers don't ever hear from you guys. How you all doing? I hope you guys are doing fine. What are you eating? You eat. That was a protein cookie, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, sun chip. Can you guys okay. hear me? Michael Bell, dude. I was. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, you can? It's showing my microphone's off. Uh, it's probably from your other microphone. Ow. Maybe. Uh, Michael, um, <clears throat> not early, buddy. Um, do you guys not have daylight savings time in England? In oh, hold <laughs> on. I got to pause this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Protein cookie. Yeah, I think I, he said he had a protein cookie. Mm hmm I did. Mm, mm, mm. Walmart list tampons, of course, Bosco, <laughs> and a tall glass. What's going on, Mister Will? I'm Hello, glad Will. to see you're back. I gotta. I'm I'm chilling, <laughs> like uh, the dude from that uh, thing. Oh, he made fun of me for being too comfortable in my own live stream. Oh, what's going on, Deb? Hey, Deb. Said I was it was very comfortable kick back. <laughs> Next week our clocks move. Oh yeah, ours already did. Sorry, Bosco. Is that syrup? Is that what that is? There starts at the end of the month. Hmm. Hey Brian, what's up? Oh, what's going on, Brian? How's everybody Hi. been? Whoops, well, sorry. My munching got out of her uh, shower, and now she is officially on the phone with her friends. So, so who we got in the house? Great. Regan, Dan, the man, Michael, Will, chocolate Deb, syrup, syrup, Brian. So your Walmart list looks like tampons, Bosco syrup, chocolate syrup, and a tall glass. I can see how that can confuse some people. No, she's going to drink the syrup out of the tall glass and just be on the period. Oh, did you post the thing? Okay. I'm not seeing it. Or I didn't see it. I was a little late to the game here, y'all. What in the world? Oh, yeah, the, the thing, yeah. What are you talking about? You're talking about the saw thing? Yeah. Yeah, what would you, yeah. Yeah, he did. Well, you know what it is. You saw it. I know what it is. Uh, Rekin just commented on the uh, behind the scenes, not the behind the scenes, but the members only video. Uh, bad A edit. I feel like that's sarcasm. Is that sarcasm? Bad, badass edit? Mm -hmm. uh, could be a good thing. Yeah, I know. That's why I said it was uh, sarcasm. 
<laughs> I, haven't, I haven't had use for the tampon in a long time. Well, now I'm back to being confused. All right, let me see what she said. What are the tampoons for? Tampons, of course, Bosco, and a tall glass. Oh, scary videos. And a glass. You know what I just realized that we didn't do? Hmm. Right? We didn't? Last week, um, with, uh, oh my God, what's his name? Gilbert. We didn't do movie. Gilly? We didn't do movie trivia. I brought up some movie trivia for tonight. Oh. Unless you want, you can add to it. Are no. you eating a protein cookie? That's what I said. Jesus Christ. You said, oh, your, you, said, you said your mic was off. Are you sure it wasn't your headphones? Everything was off. Oh. No fool. Last compliment you get from me. Oh, so, okay. Well, I didn't think it was that good, but, you know. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah, but you're always your own worst uh, critic. Always. Modest Eddie over here. Even when it's something Never. awesome. What? I am. Oh, no. No, I'm paranoid. I'm always like, <laughs> they said they like it. Clearly, uh -huh. that means they hate it. Mm -hmm. You know, you worry too much. That would be, oh, I'm not worried. I'm just, uh, you know, I guess I am my own worst critic, huh? You are. You are. Michael Bell, man. What's been going on? <clears throat> <man? clears throat> Missing you, Holmes. Yep, same. Uh, you know, I, I actually, I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich before I'm eating these chips. <laughs> and it was funny. It and it was funny too because I was waiting for you guys to get in the the, the screen over here. Hardly it's worse. Thanks, Brian. And <laughs> I had never seen what my throat looked like swallowing a sandwich bite. You and, do learn things about yourself when you catch yourself on video. And now I do. And and now apparently he liked it because hey, he was clearly fine with doing it on stream. <laughs> Well, I was thinking reeking uh, duct tape. Oh, the point. Plastic. Is make... Oh, the and point is to make the box catch. cutter. Oh, oh, oh! I forgot. Yeah, the thing that no one else answered the question. No, nobody no, answered actually, the question. I actually forgot what the question was. I didn't even. I wasn't even paying attention. Mm. So I think that's I think, what I would answer. I think the Munchkin just said, "Great googly moogly." What? That's what I heard. Just home from work from work. And eating a vert spicy chili right rice. Nice. I don't know what that is, brother, but that sounds awesome. You like a lot of spice? Spicy chili. You like my list? I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> I was actually. I was actually considering if they come out with a 2024 hot chip challenge. <laughs> get it oh oh do i have to do it by my lonesome no. do i have to suffer alone they'll it never says, do um, it it says dexter oh, vibes yeah. how one person died last year mm -hmm. dude and i almost bought it too dude i almost bought it we were in fye and i sent them messed up i was like oh look it's the, this year's hot chip challenge neat and I was like, "All right, I'll put it back. Maybe we'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll consult." And didn't I send that, uh, that article to you? Like within a week. That, that, oh, it was, yeah, I was, say, it was, it was within close. a week. Yeah, I was, was like, "Crap! I should have bought that." Not only because, like, that would just be a cool collector's item. Just like, hey, this is a thing that killed someone who was, you know, stupid and couldn't handle it. <laughs> Hot chili, hot X-lax, chili. and diapers is a close second. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. Sounds like a list. Do, 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 do. It sounds like a that. list. <laughs> no, well, maybe the duct tape. <laughs> what did I do? Not oh, just the tape. I'm a good boy. When you were a child. What? I was an angel. Tape that mouth shut. Oh, a back scratcher sweet precious baby boy i was yes you were my baby boy 
See? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm the favorite. Ha ha ha. I didn't say that. <laughs> She's like, I hate you. You're both, both my favorite. Hate You're both my favorite. <clears throat> what a cop out garbage answer. All right, I hate you both equally. What do you want? There you go. <laughs> that that right there. That's not true. Yeah, it is. It can be true. It could oh, be yeah, that you don't that. hate us at all, and you you hate each, each of us not at all equally. Boom! How's that for logic? <laughs> Stick that in your pipe and smoke no. it. Oh yeah. <laughs> and the oh, reason fine. being, you guys are still here. You, wait, are you su suggesting <laughs> that the? Uh, the a word is about no no i think dude his no. eye he, he was straight up like stranding on that fart by the way did you did you <laughs> did you fart no no i don't fart farting is for disgusting people gosh just if it's anything like duck oh, oh my god i hope the munchkin decides not to come in here tonight because my dude Why would you do that to her? Well, I don't want her to come in because I don't want her to asphyxiate. Brian, that's yeah. all I do is research. No, reaching? Ooh, Wait, no, reaching. reaching. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even read. So, Rican, Rican, did you like the uh, the squeaking sound when I was fast forwarding? I, I fast forwarded <laughs> that and I was like, Oh, what in the world? I was like, God, I hope that's not what I think it is. I... <laughs> Excuse me. I'm on, I'm on an old Planned Parenthood poster. Yeah, that's what I'm, I was laughing, choking, laughing about. I should have been. Yeah, that squeaking, though, was... Um, that's, I, <clears throat> I would say that's probably the most embarrassing video I ever posted, but Lord knows that's not true. What did I? What did I used to say? I if you were the first child, I would have only had one. I think that's what I've said in the past. I've given two. Were you like nervous did, breakdowns, dude? Were you like? <laughs> were you like in the middle of quitting smoking when you said that? She may have been. <laughs> Why oh, you hey, so angry? Guess what? Very what? possible. I, I, mean, but, I only see three lights. Drop a oh, people's that, elbow on that like button. What? The people's elbow? Yeah, I don't know. This what is like is 1997. Up? The squeak was not on purpose. Uh, no, that was snoring. <laughs> that was my snores. Wait, are you trying to be funny or? Yeah, dude, the snoring was exceptional. I didn't realize I was snoring that bad. Not the compliment. <laughs> dude I paused it and I'm just cutting logs dude tearing it up just got home playing the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game Mike how do you is that thing still populated I knew that game came out and it was like real hot for about a week and then it felt oh. like it got depop depopulated hmm <clears throat> Michael, cheers, mate. Oh, my God. I, I was expecting Michael not to be here, and I forgot. Oops. Two seconds. can't believe you've done this. <laughs> cheers, Mike. All right. <laughs> There's one you answer. Thought a, you thought it was a cool effect? No, nah, no cool effect. The squeaking was, in fact, the sound of my very, very highly sped up snoring. You notice that, huh, Brian? That is that is true. Lubricant and how to stay single book. Mm. Oh, you typed that. I was like, I didn't type that. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Everything Hold all right? <laughs> no, my brain wasn't functioning there for a second. Ooh, was, I had taco uh, pizza, man. I got yeah, heart very burn. better than the Friday the Thirteenth one so far. I actually, I actually, <laughs> oh no, I don't even know if I want. I should... hey, Ann. <clears throat> oh, what's going on, Ann? Uh, look, okay, so that's what I gotta ask. I'm gonna ask you guys if I should post this one or not. 
Um, where the hell is that at? All right. Is it offensive? Or are we going to lose subscribers? Yeah. Wait a minute. A lot of those yes. I sent you, you cannot post. No, none, none of the, none of the, none of the, um, it was something different. It was an answer to the three, oh. the three items. Read, read, oh. read the Facebook. Oh my God. Rough. Did, yes. Post you it. Just sent it? <laughs> right. You're going to offend probably at least three people in here. Yeah, that's going to be pretty offensive. Oh, somebody else. I oh, slipped. Oh. I slipped. His finger got wild and slipped. I slipped and posted it. Damn it. Oops. Yeah, I was going to watch your premiere there, Deb, mm. but um, uh, I was trying to get the munchkin all sorted out and ready to go. I hid no time. Yeah, if anybody uh, is offended by that, I'm the one that you just direct all your anger at me. I promise you, everybody, greetings and salutations, one and all. Um, Hello, Ann. How are you? We got, uh, you just lost one. It was 13 people. Now it's 12. So I don't know who fell out. Well, I said subscribers. <laughs> no, I don't, you know, watchers is whatever. But, dang, where do you all shop? <laughs> um, actually, that this is a Walmart thing. So, oh, with uh, three, uh, three things you can buy that would be, um, at Walmart. That. Oh, okay. I know what that was now. <laughs> what did I miss? What was I even talking about? We were talking about his uh, three items. No, 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 no. And then. You were talking about snoring. Fast. And then... uh, after that, but before the thing. Either way. Uh, so Deb, have you been able to do anything with that that uh, drone footage? I think that drone footage came up pretty good myself. There he goes again. If you're not subscribed, you should reconsider. Tell him, Dan. Dan. We need to get so you on a live stream one of these days so people can size us up and be like, okay, this might be a pretty good fight. An easy bake oven, a steak, and a gourmet cookbook. Mm, that's kind of whack. <laughs> you hear her in there going crazy? A Scooby snack. Scooby snack. A haircut. Moro raggy. <laughs> Wait, a haircut? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do what? I might as well get my hair. I just downloaded it to my laptop. I'll definitely be able to do something with it. It's great footage. Thank you. Hey! Tonka. Pack of batteries. Congratulations on your baby card and a noise-canceling headphones. No. No. $841.33 on Dan. That's a whoa, that's a very dis, a, a definite number there that you came up with, Brian. To snatch a blank and oh, hold on, I gotta snatch mute it. a tree. Hey, so who's uh, who's got their money on Mike Tyson and who's got their money on Jake Paul? Well, if it's a legitimate fight, Mike Tyson's oh my god, my microphone just fell. If it's a legitimate fight, uh, Mike Tyson's got it. Oh, what? Whoa. Five paranormal memberships. Dan, or Dan. Dan, Ann. Oh, Ann. look at all the people. Oh, look at all the people. Whoa. Oh, I see you guys watching. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. How? Thanks, Dan. I, I didn't Very know you could do that, but uh, appreciate it. Oh, you didn't awesome. know people get gift memberships? No, I thought no. it was cool. I actually oh, looked God. into because um, when Deb said that you could get, uh, I guess you can give members free memberships. I looked into it, and I'm yeah. just like, I couldn't figure it out. So how does it work? Is it like a like a one month membership or something? Mm -hmm. The gift membership. 
dope. Yeah, I'll have to look at that. And that's pretty do- that's pretty banging, pretty boss of you. I just posted a new uh, membership video, and it's a very uncomfortable one for me. <laughs> it gives people that are not in chat current time. Yeah, I, well, I hope not. I don't know if JPEX or Jake is actually in the chat right now. Yes, it's a, usually he says something. Yeah, I don't think he is. It must be people that are. I don't know. I thought I thought it was people in the chat or people you know watching. I don't know. He could be wrong though. Yeah, I don't think uh, I've seen Jason on. Uh... Let me check Discord. It's probably gonna... we've seen we've seen Jake, haven't we? Oh, yeah. One month gift uh... membership randomly chosen by YouTube. Yeah, I'm gonna. Play with that later. Yeah, they might. They oh, might J- not. yeah, Jake's online. He just <clears throat> now you have to busy. do it while you're online. Is that how it works? No. Hmm. Nope. You can give give them to whoever you want to, here or not. Well, I, th- I think YouTube decides that for you. Well, awesome. Thank you, Ann. <clears throat> Super dope. Yeah, thank you. Watch before, but they don't have to be in the chat at the time. There's 13 watching. Yeah. Oh, we got a king lurker there, a queen lurker. Oh, yes, there's go. one. Piper can't give donations anymore, thanks to Hayes. Uh-huh. What did Hayes? She's, she's not. She's not in here, so you can't rub that in her face. Oh. Uh, Deb, it'll make you very happy. It'll make you very happy to know that the Munchkin, I think it was Saturday, the Munchkin slapped on her spectral researcher shirt, some khaki pants, and some 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 dope new shoes, and her drip was on point or on fleek, if you will, and uh, she was very very proud of that outfit, and she had your shirt on, so. Just saying. And no, I do not dress my child. She dresses herself. So she likes the shirt. We need, we need more likes, people. Oh, uh, Piper, I, I did not. True story. <laughs> yeah, I ain't going to argue. <laughs> Piper, did not ignore your message. I saw it come through, but uh, it's been very, 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 very busy. Very, very busy. I've been pretty garbage about replying to messages as of late. I'm a busy boy. Yep. She was rocking that shirt hard. She still tr- she still has her sticker. She has her sticker because she can't find an important enough place to put it yet. And her, and her great-grandma told her how much she liked her shirt, too. <laughs> Yes, she did. <laughs> Granny did say she did like that shirt. She, I believe the words were, that's cute. Nails. <laughs> Brian. Brian, what'd you just do, Brian? Whoa. Yes, he did. For the grandchild. <laughs> Hashtag Grandpa Club. Grandpa Club. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Appreciate that. Yep, he uh, we got to talk with him this evening. Yep, he was uh, he's actually crawling and so he is on the move constantly. Yeah. So I told her, I said, Oh, the fun really starts now. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I'm curious about what pint birds, what pint birds Walmart list would be. One of our Aussie fans was wearing her shirt to work and someone came up to her and said they watch our channel too. Felt a little famous for a few minutes. <laughs> I'm I'm not going to lie, dude. That would be <laughs> kind of weird and awesome at the same time. Yeah, yeah that Brian, be Brian awesome. that's awesome. That would be I appreciate awesome. that. Yes, thank you, Brian. Don't tell Hayes, though. Great everybody seal of approval. Yep. Everybody yeah, should be in here in a little bit. Yeah, everybody don't <laughs> tell Hayes. Okay. Yeah, don't tell Erica that that went down. Yeah. Yeah, he's crawling everywhere. It's <laughs> he's gonna be a nightmare. It's all over now. 
Oh, but he's so adorable. Expect gray hair explosion. Wait, on, uh, on who? <laughs> probably you. <laughs> Me? Have you seen I, my hair? You have not seen his head, apparently. It's already, it's already there. Yeah, it's bad news bears over here. Uh, that's why I sit in the dark. I don't want you all to see my uh, unbelievable gray hair. Oh, I forgot to black and white my screen. He's mine look, mine beard, looks right? like I highlight my hair, kind of, sort of. But that is gray. That is gray, y'all. Uh, that's, why yeah. gone, that's why I haven't gone to the barber, because every time I go there, he goes, Jesus Christ, your hair is gray. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hold on, wait, 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 wait. So, uh, like when I'm sitting there, when he's done cutting my hair, I look down and I go, dude, did you not sweep after you cut some really old guy's hair? <laughs> I'm such a boomer. I'm looking up you things wrong. Ah, uh, you, you are getting very boomer like. Yeah, I don't welcome, know. Bring... Welcome to the club. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. So, this is what you're going to do to your hair, right? Who, me? Yeah. It's doing it naturally. I have not highlighted. I have not put any color in my hair since 2017. You know, when I first so. saw this, who who is that? Uh, Tulsi Gabbard, is that who it is? That does her mm -hmm. white streak? I, I thought that they stole this from her. But uh, she does both sides. What is this? This is Joan is awful. Um, <laughs> Black, it's so a Black Mirror episode. Yeah, uh, the new season of it. I never watched the new. I didn't watch the new season. Um, it's weird. I looked older. Uh, I'm trying to hide there. my turkey neck, except for the turkey neck. I hide mine. <laughs> yeah. Well, I could. I could grow a beard if I let. <laughs> It's true she could. But I prefer not to. I got a bit of a turkey neck. For whatever reason, like, now that I'm getting older, like, this stuff hangs right here. And, like, it's like a, a row. Like, I got right here. Rows Look. Right here. What, what is the deal Look. with that? Oh, dude, That's... have you seen Michael Moore oh. after he lost the weight? No. Michael Moore, dude, he had, like, two, like, <laughs> things going down his neck. It was gnarly looking. <laughs> yeah, it does have something to do with losing weight, too, but. Mine's not from losing weight. Mine's from old age. Exactly. And exactly. It's like I got a web neck. I got a web neck. <laughs> like the start of a web. It just hasn't done the cross pieces. Yep. Gobble, gobble. Turkey neck. All right. What did I call it? My waddle. I think I called it my waddle. You got a waddle? Yeah, it's a waddle. Okay. Yeah, Jonas... Yeah, there's no, there's no last. It's not. It doesn't bounce back. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> ball chinny. He became a ball. Chinny. He became a ball chinny and correct. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't seen uh, the new Black Mirror season, it's pretty good. I highly recommend it. The best one out of all of them is the Aaron Paul one. Who's Aaron oh. Paul? Oh, Jesse. Yeah. Oh, what? What did he do? Aaron Paul, he he was the one. He did that Black uh, Mirror episode with. Um, oh yeah, that was. I think that was the best one. Yeah, it's got Josh Hartnett. Yes, you know it's hot outside. Josh Hartnett and uh, Aaron Paul, best one they did. Yeah, that yeah, was. Yeah, Mr. White. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't. Uh, yeah, Mr. White. <laughs> there was some science stuff going on, and it was amazing. Y'all to check it out. Mm -hmm. Have y'all in the chat seen it? Yeah, I I think that was the main number one. This one was pretty good, but it got kind of weird. It was goofy at the end, but uh huh, yeah. Black Mirror is awesome. I agree, Brian. Yes, I like the the one with uh uh Johnny Quid. That one's really good. I don't remember which one. I watched a bunch of them, but like I said, my favorite was. Let's see, if Brian gets that reference. Johnny Quid. Rican, you haven't seen it? Feinberg seen it? You haven't? Deb hasn't? Yeah, uh, it's on Netflix if you guys haven't. Pretty good. I like the one uh, 
the one with the guy freaking out of, uh, about like uh, how people won't stop staring at their phones, and he kidnaps a dude who works for like that in you in that in universe's version of Facebook, and he wants to talk to the guy who owns. He's supposed to be like Mark Zuckerberg, but he's like extra hippie. No, he's like a mix between Jack uh, douche from Twitter. And I think he's like a douche douche from Twitter more so. And uh, I, I got I went on a rant with an with a now ex girlfriend about how I'm like, bro, I agree with this dude. I just haven't kidnapped anyone yet. And she didn't uh, she didn't find it that episode as infuriating as I did. Yeah, you have to watch the one. Um, what was that episode called? Aaron, the Aaron Paul one? Yeah. Uh, Jesse Pinkman. Jesse Pinkman. That one. That one was the best. It was called something. <laughs> that, <laughs> show, that show right there is the embodiment of reject modernity. Be, uh, what? Yeah, Beyond the Sea. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a really interesting episode. The best one, I think it's the best one of both seasons. So, or all six seasons. Seven seasons? I have it's the best one, I think. I saw it. Oh, I don't have Netflix anymore. Trigger warning? Who That's said anything to do a trigger warning? I don't know. Yeah, they've done it in six seasons. But yeah, it's really good. I also like the one where they uh, in the what was it? I forget what season it was where they where they had like uh, where you could they recorded memories. Yeah, that's the one with Johnny Quid, and the that's, guy keeps going back to see his wife, kind of giving eyes to that dude. Yeah, yeah, that's the one with Johnny Quid. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. It's such yeah. a dystopian show, dude. I actually quite thoroughly enjoy it. I might have fell asleep. I and they're Brits. Well, not, not, not the last couple seasons weren't mm -hmm. Brits, but before that it was all Brits. Good show. Yeah, and it's got a, a, a kind of a, a copyright claim. Let's just start watching Black Mirror on stream right now. <laughs> Let's pull up our favorite episodes, everybody. Yeah, we tried to do that one time. and uh... Oh, no, we did that with Lee. Yeah, but we did it with something else. What was it? Um, oh, the movie. Yeah. yeah. I forget what it was. The Exorcist or one of the Halloweens. Yeah, and I did it on... I think I did it private, and they still... Yeah, it was, a, it was a private private link, and they still hit us. And they were like, nope. No, sir, Rebob. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't getting sued. So anyway, yes, I guess my hair is kind of like Jones. Except natural. You just, had to bring it, natural. you just had to bring it back to you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that is why he post, uh, put that up there. What, put what up there? What are you talking about? Well, what is this? Scary <laughs> videos. I just had gaslighting. Is an American <laughs> Horror Story any good? Got it saved for later. I personally couldn't get into them. My wife likes it. I watched the uh, the freak show one, and I did freak nothing. show was okay. The the um, that's what everyone keeps saying. Oh yeah, freak show was really good, and I'm like, really? Because I didn't it was, dig it. it was, but it had what's his name in it. I don't what's, care if it had him in it. Who's him? The Twisty. clown dude, Twisty. That's who it was. Um, <laughs> Twisty. He was, played, he was played by the guy who taught um, Morgan to be chill. Morgan should be like Morgan who? Walking Dead Morgan. Oh, the the old guy. Okay, I know who you're talking about. Oh. Big big bald guy. Yeah. It sucks like, like Great Britain. Whoa, whoa! We love our British folk here, Bry. And this one was good, and then the eighties one. The first season was Murder House, right? Yeah. 
Well, I didn't see the '80s one. I, I something tells me I probably would have enjoyed that because I didn't see. 80s. I did not see the '80s one. Was it an '80s slasher? Um, inspired, which is like 100% my jam. As you guys can no doubt tell behind me. I like the what's the Coven? The one with Stevie Nicks was in. Boo! Stevie Nicks sucks. Stevie Nicks does not suck. She sounds like a goat. <laughs> Feels like they're just trying to go for more shock value each season of American Horror Story. Green Bay, doofus. Hey, Erica, what's up? Oh, Green Bay. I thought you said Great Britain. My, that's not a doofus. Why don't you just type it out, man? We got Brits in the audience. I see GB, I think Great Britain. The Green Coven Bay, the best. doofus. I just could not get into American Horror Story. I didn't like them. Trying to think what else did it, which one was I getting <laughs> super pooped on for not liking Stevie Nicks. I like how Erica comes in, hey everybody, and then <laughs> immediately gets hit with a Stevie Nicks sucks. Tell him. <laughs> Excellent. Seen her in concert twice. I saw no effects in concert twice. I seen John Bon Jovi in concert twice. Or Bon Jovi. I say John Bon Jovi because Second time I saw him, um, wasn't everybody the same? Oh. Asi oh, yes, Asylum was good, too. That's right. <laughs> She's so mad because I pooped on Stevie Nicks. <laughs> Who is Stevie Nicks? Fleetwood Mac. She's that crunchy what? broad. Who's Fleetwood Mac? She's that crunchy broad who's super uh um uh uh what's the word uh, over uh overrated? Crunchy broad? Yeah, she's a crunchy broad that's super overrated. Yes, Bon Jovi is. And he's not bad when he's old too. <laughs> I saw him in the uh, late 80s and I seen him Five years ago? Wow. I think it was five years ago here. <laughs> Deb Actually in Orlando. You're going to see Madonna next month? Woof. <laughs> Woof. Woof on Mc Madonna. What's wrong with Madonna? I almost said McDonna. What's Have matter? you seen Madonna lately? What's the matter, Brian? You yeah. You're like shocked that I don't know who Fleetwood Mac is. I can't uh, believe you. you've never you've never heard of Fleetwood Mac. Come on, yeah, for real. Okay, <laughs> like, what? I just didn't know Stevie Nicks was in Fleetwood Mac. Yes. No, that's that's true. I didn't know. I didn't know. Uh... Do I think maybe she might have dabbled in the witchery kind of stuff? Probably. Actually, I have no idea who Stevie Nicks is. Because she was in that in that season. Madonna scares me. <laughs> Madonna. <laughs> she looks like a very angry blow up doll. She ages like milk. Yeah, well, it's Whoa. the uh, unbelievable amount of plastic surgery she had to make herself look young, which she would have just been attractive because she was a smoke show in the eighties. She would have been attractive in her 50s and 60s, but now she looks like a weird thing because she was trying desperately to hold on to her youth. Well, Michael, the second time around when I saw him, I was really close and I was really upset because he was going around to different areas and check, talking to the women, and he didn't come on our side of the stage. <laughs> I wonder why. Hey, when I saw the Deftones one, <laughs> when I saw the Deftones one time, um, I was with a couple of friends that I work with. So I went to go see the the, the Deftones. Actually, yeah, I actually I did go. It was the Deftones were the second band, and then it was Godsmack, which Godsmack blows. But oh, that's that's the yeah, you were there too. And uh, we went to go, and we were watching the Deftones, and all I could think while Deftones was playing was, Jesus Christ, his head is huge. 
The lead singer of the Deftones has an enormous head. It's amazing. Yeah, I haven't seen Stevie Nicks. I think and I have. It is a man who struggles to fit a hat. <laughs> I feel his pain. Pat Benatar, I think I've seen. I don't know. I've seen a bunch of. Uh, I'd go to concerts where a bunch of different singers would be up on the. Stevie Nicks, hot as heck. Maybe like in the seventies, she was. Oh yeah, Brian's an old guy. Brian, Brian's a different generation. So he's looking at old broads going, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How Brian old is Brian. Brian? How old are you, Brian? If you want to share. You don't have old. to, but he's old. Old. He, want, he wants like all me. these he wants all these attractive young ladies in the uh the the chat now to be like, I don't want to know. <laughs> like my me old? <laughs> me bad. <laughs> me bad? <laughs> Madonna looks alien esque. Correct. Looks like I'm not gonna say that out loud, Michael, but uh hilarious. Yes, sir. <laughs> Best concert I ever went to was was the jam, my all time favorite group. But Madonna was amazing concert. Meh. They pissed off. <laughs> yes. Fifty four. Oh <laughs> interesting. <laughs> she's cr she's crusty. Madonna creeps me out. She's too crusty for me. Yeah, I got a, quite a few years. Wow, she's having Brian. a blast. Is she? All right, let's see how. Let's see how. How. This is a. This is something that you're just not going to get right off the top of your head, unless you are a super nerd. Oh, here I go. Here I go. I'm not a nerd. I'm gonna put my cowboy hat on top of my. Yeah, there we go. Ain't no way you're gonna get this. Oh, in 1977, a K Italian supermodel horror film, Suspiria. Wh Supernatural? What is the unique? What is unique about the Academy's matrons? I should totally watch Suspiria. Oh, Gilbert said I should get it. I didn't. Oops, I'm a slacker. I don't. I have no idea. <clears throat> Can I just guess? Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Deb, I know that movie. We are split. <laughs> One vote for each. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Erica. Now we got Sorry, distracted by the story of Robert De Niro's seventh child. <laughs> oh, his baby? Doesn't he have a baby? Yeah, he's had that baby for like a month or so, or two months. Uh, I just can't even imagine somebody his age having a child. Sorry. Moron. The kid's going to be 10 when you're dead. Well, that's kind of... I it. take no responsibility for this answer, by the way. I said I said re-owned. Re-owned artists. Being correct. I, I take no responsibility for it. Okay, so which one is it? We have seven votes, 13 people. Is there ain't nobody else going to vote now. Are you, is, I was is everybody sure vote. of their answers? You all want to change your answers? I'll give you a minute. Can you change them? Yeah. I think. Just mm, not the way it looks. It looks like it's like... Mm, dude, I got to hit that mute button again real quick. I'm going to laugh if he forgets to hit it one time. Nah, these are actually getting... Dangerous. Do you gotta go to the bathroom? I can wait. And chose witches. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you weren't supposed to notice. He's gonna do a charge back now. Yeah, we were telling him that he wasn't allowed to tell you or nobody. We all had to keep it a secret. We were doing good until you figured it out. You know, a second ago. Witches rule. You know what? I was going to vote witches, but I was thinking they might have been renowned artists. That's renowned. Reown renowned? Yes. Sorry. Can't read <laughs> I thought either. you were joking when you said reowned earlier. <laughs> the both of us. <laughs> the both of us. Hey, I had a reason uh... for that, okay? <laughs> 
And you stay up all night smoking the 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 wacky tobacco. Your brain don't work so good in the morning. I think I was just catching buzzes because I had my windows down today, and everywhere I went, it was like, damn, the smell of weed yep. penetrates your nostrils throughout yep. the day. All a right. little buzz while I was cruising around town. I think he said Colin White. <laughs> you saw it and can't remember. I've never seen it, but. Gilbert said it was a good one. Mine was a guess. I'd prefer teleporting. I wouldn't mind teleporting All inside right. and outside of a bank vault. I like witches. For those of you that said they are witches, you have answered correctly. Well, now it's a spoiler alert. Not now I don't, now I'm not going to buy the movie. Buy the movie. You've wrecked that. Uh yeah, so 1977. What about 1977? Uh, you can't claim spoilers on a movie that was 1977. Oh, yes, you can. Nope, nope. I haven't seen it. You are yes, not can. allowed. I never saw it, so it's a spoiler. <laughs> now I don't need to see it, so that's ruined. Okay, uh, let's see here. I actually have no idea if that's even like an important factoid in the movie. Neither do I. <laughs> oh, Ann got it? Surprise, surprise. Yeah, hey, I saw Ann got it. And I think uh, Deb also got it. Because she mentioned... Yeah, Deb said something about witches, too. You All said right. it's crap? Oh, man, Gilbert last week told me it was awesome and I should totally buy it. Now I'm scared. To me, these these are actually pretty hard. I, she said it's crap. The correct answer <laughs> was witches. The correct answer was witches. Oh, I knew this one. What okay. is the name of the demon in the in the Exorcist? Is it Beelzebub, Pazuzu, Asmodeus, or Lucifer? Beelzebub, Asmodeus. Lucifer. I like me some good old horror movie trivia, <laughs> especially when I know them. Mostly men like it, I guess, because they like the weirdo women. I like weirdo women. What are we saying? Thank you, Hayes. To well, why are we saying thank you to Hayes? Everyone say thank you to Hayes that we're not going to be, uh, he's not going to be donating anymore because of her. Thanks, Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> the big uh, K2 demon? <laughs> I prefer my demons like that. Yeah. Yeah, he did have a big, uh, big hog on him. Wait, did my droopers disappear? No, they're not. I see, no, I, okay, see I, don't, I don't see them on my side now. Not missing anything in. I actually got the name of that demon during an investigation month. Uh, one, I said once. Uh, once rather disturbing. The real one, correct? The one that's name is... I'm not going to tell you yet. <laughs> That'd be, that's a weird thing. What was it on a spirit box or? That's that's odd. The yeah. droopers and dropping. She doubled, four, it, double dropped. Total. She did a double drooper. Do, All right. Droop if you in. want to reveal the answer, go for it. Uh, the uh, the correct answer is Asmodeus, clearly. No, it's uh, Beelzebub. Or no, <laughs> it's Pazuzu. <laughs> Yikes. Well, you might as well. It's Lucifer as well. It might as well be Lucifer <laughs> as well. Asmodeus. Pazuzu. That's the real answer. Correct answer. Oh, oh, I answer. did not know uh, that. Spirit and box. I have watched it. Getting a Pazuzu on the spirit box would be very strange. Uh -huh. 
They're just sitting there. <laughs> What's your name? Pazuzu. Come busting out of the spirit box and be like, nice. I don't know how good this is going to go through. Like well, really... with enough lube, you can make anything go through. You could pre go through that pressure zone. Play it. Hit it. No. <laughs> no. Never. I thought Pazuzu was a car. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Beelzebub is such a dumb name. I agree. At least Asmodeus is cool sounding. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. That's what I would have guessed. Oh, that one's easy. Is it? Or is it? Private home investigation where kids were playing with Ouija board a lot. No way. And that's crazy. I'm going to get down with that. What, the Ouija board? No, I'm going to get down on a private investigation where kids are using Ouija boards. Asmodeus. Lucifer. Hmm. Yeah, it's good. These answers are really split. The first three questions. There's a lot of divide here. I already know the answer to it, though. One person has answered it right. Did you just give it away? Nope. Now, you say first became prominent. Or sorry, chat GPT says prominent. Hmm. Lucifer. Hey, look, I didn't I didn't create the answers, all right? <laughs> when you were in Connecticut. Uh oh. Oh dear. What's wrong? <laughs> I didn't mute at that time. And I know you didn't hear it. <laughs> I heard something. Yeah, you heard nothing. I heard something. I thought you burped. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> we got six votes. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? He's guessed Halloween. What yeah, I can't vote. I, guess? I can't what vote. Did I guess? It'll, give, it'll give it away. <laughs> Oh, okay, I know what I did. I was like, what the hell did I guess? I don't think you can vote anyway. Yeah, I can. I did. Connecticut. But I'm not even 100% sure. Connecticut is a heck hole. I don't know, I've never been. I've been once. I've never, I've never been higher than Maryland. Except when you went to Canada. Well, I've never been higher on the East Coast than Maryland. No, you went to New York. No, I didn't. When you were young. That doesn't count if I don't remember. Yeah, it does. No. Which is oh, why I now live in Florida. Yes, Rick, Rick Record is officially a grandpa. Grandpapa. Yes, yes, I am. He's old as balls. Look at this dude. So you know what that makes me, don't you, Erica? Old. All right, I think we need to bust out the old Anserino on this one. Yes. All right, I'm going to end the poll. I think the legit answer when it became prominent was Halloween. Uh -huh. But apparently ChatGPT says it's something else, which I am guessing the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? That's what yeah. I guessed. Black no. Christmas? Black Christmas. Uh, you're probably right. Have I seen that? And that was... Hmm. I don't remember Black Christmas. 
I'm more yeah. of a. I have never seen Black Christmas, so I have no clue. Neither have I. Oh, whatever, Erica. Get over yourself. A uh, honey. <laughs> what is that? What is oh, that Erica? Me? A honey. Yeah. She's so sweet. Yes, kiss her. Super congratulations to Rick. She's Horry. my new daughter to replace my sons. You ever watch Black Christmas? Hey, thanks, Michael. I'm more of a Deadly Night, a Silent Night, Deadly Night kind of guy. I haven't seen Black Christmas either, but I wonder if it's on like Netflix. Probably not Netflix, but Hulu. Totally I know. I, I'll go off to Hulu too. I chose Halloween, never seen Black Christmas. I think Halloween was the thing that kind of set that not into motion, but it set that into. All right, we'll go with an easier one this time. Black Christmas is good. That's what I've heard. If I'm, I'm sure I've seen it. It must have been a long time ago, though. What's the deal with that strain there? Well, I was grunting because I was getting up because I am uh, an out of shape piece of garbage. Oh, Dan Trail, you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> right now. See, what is the name uh, of the fish? Brian's money of- just went up. He's got more money on Dan now. <laughs> mm. After you said that. The 1974 one is, yeah. Nightmare on Elm Street. Mm, I think I know this. Oh. Oh. oh, this is interesting. You know the answer to this, right? Oh, me? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, it's Crystal Lake. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> it's split between Haddonfield and Springwood. But are those Don't two, bad, one of those Erica. two, the right answer? So am I, Erica. <laughs> You're definitely getting this one wrong. I'm not even a fan of those movies that much. I like the first one and the second one's okay. The rest I of them get, get- Oh, I thought you were. I thought you were getting up. Like, I'm out. I'm out. Later. Eddie, knows I know the butt whooping's coming. <laughs> nah, dog. Nah, ain't happening, I, Dan. I'm sorry. I uh, bet you Brian's money went up a little bit now after you said that. I mean, Brian can throw his money away all he wants. Is it dishonorable to vote on myself? No. No. D- boom. Yeah, it's not a sanctioned... Uh... Well, unless you're Pete Rose, then yeah. No, I'm more of a... <laughs> I'm more of a... What's his, face? what's his face? The water. Oh. That's George Brett. <laughs> yeah, yeah, George Brett. That's, that's more of my style. <laughs> first one was good, but they went downhill. Yeah, I like the first one, and the second one's pretty good. Okay, Ian. Oh, all right. Yeah, if you don't make it back uh, here, uh, we'll see you next week. Have a good week. Bye, Ann. All right, we got more votes this one. Do we do? Oh, dude, I'm tired. All right. Oh, do that. Can right. I answer? I want to answer. Hold on, I'm in the poll. Oh. In the poll. What's the poll? For granddaughter and great grandson. Oh, whoa. Hey, Brian. Awesome. Well, thank you, Brian. Brian, hammering it on there, buddy. And he's beautiful, too. Craig Grumble would say, he's so pretty, he looks like a girl. I was like, don't say that. <laughs> he does it. He's not. Yeah, give him a complex. <laughs> um, so the answer is uh, Springwood. Because Freddy Krueger is known as the Springwood Slasher. Correct well, them on I that. got it. <laughs> Told you, Erica. Appreciate that, Brian. Awesome. <laughs> Not and for the made... stream. <laughs> Erica said, made love when Anne said that. All right, let's see what else we got. <laughs> yes, thank you, Brian. 
If daughter. these are all fun, we can keep going. I'm having a good time. I'm I think everybody me. likes doing trivia. Trivia is good. I like trivia. All right, this is a newer movie. I don't know who's all seen it. Uh, oh. I have not. Hattonfield was Halloween. Correct the window. Uh, see, that's what I guess, Brian. And I, I screwed Woodsboro up. Woodsboro was uh, Scream. Them was Ghost Faces. Uh, the answer was uh, Springwood. Used to be Springfield, but they changed the name partway through the series. Hey, Crim Crimson. Crimson 1551. Was it? Hey, Crimson. Uh, yeah, I think that's correct. In The Witch, or The The Witch, uh, what is the family's primary language? Oh, dude. I have not seen this. I have seen that movie, and I actually like that movie. Yeah. So you know the answer, or do you? Yeah, you know what? I kind of know the answer. <laughs> Erica said, uh, oh, I picked Woodsboro. I did not pick the right one, Erica, so don't feel bad. I don't re remember, but I know it was wrong. Also, Erica, I also don't know the answers to these questions. I'm just I think I them. do. I do. Pretty sure I know that because I actually do own this movie. So Very nobody good. thinks it's modern like... English or Latin. <laughs> if you had seen the movie, you would understand 100%. <laughs> it is kind of like back and forth between those two. I do understand why everyone's struggling. But I think uh, Dan said I'm going with Springfield. Dan, you're a little delayed there, my friendo. Been a long while since I've watched any of those movies. It's crazy. This movie is 2015 and uh it's nine years old. Shush. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> Shut up. Um anyone else want to vote? I've never watched it, Erica. <laughs> Pretty good. It's a good movie. It's it's Is kind it? of it's a real slow burn. It's a slow burn that doesn't really like break out into <laughs> 95022 on Dan. Nah, no I knew it would go up a bit. Tight, tight. All right, I wanna I wanna say the answer now. I wanna right. see it. two minutes in, we uh end the poll. Ready? It's six. All right, said answer. I believe the correct answer is Old English. Ah. It's Shakespearean English? Shakespearean English. I finally got one, and it was a guess. Well, it is rough to listen to those people talk in that movie. Slow protein slow cookie protein. burn? <laughs> no, I'm, it's definitely... They're not so slow, but they're definitely burning. <laughs> <laughs> when's your birthday erica next month i just guess shakespeare yeah it's 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 a hard watch if you can't take the shakespearean i, I thought it was old english but i guess shakespeare oh. english these questions are stumping people yeah apparently all i want to oh. hear right now is food and sleep right about now i'm tired true that Hello to oh oh really June fifteenth I I'm I'm a Gemini too oh my god you got <laughs> your face shut up my face dang I just saw it. Shakespearean went to language subtitles helped <laughs> speaking of burning you like these questions freaking they're almost a little too. They're pretty hardcore. Hard for me. <laughs> the Vivic is <laughs> very... Oh, oh, I'm going to nail this one. And heredit hereditary... Uh, oops. What symbol is associated with the cult of... Pay uh, uh, oh, God. I guess Paymon. Yeah. 
I have no idea. I just watched this movie a few months ago. Never seen it. So far, two people think it's a, uh, however you pronounce that. What is it, a sigil? A sigil. Sigil. Erica, mine's the six. I also didn't watch this movie. Yeah, I don't watch it either. No clue. Where did you find these questions? In the corner, <laughs> I, there was one corner of the internet that was just sitting there all untouched. So I was like, I'm going to check it out. And I guess he didn't nail that one. I'm kind of confused, <laughs> actually. I'm not going to lie. I have an idea of what I think it is, but I'm probably wrong. I lost the box now. Where's it at? So this one's pretty split, too. Two people like Sigil, and every other one is like one vote for the eye, triangle with a circle, and an inverted pentagram. I just voted for that one. Uh, your mother's birthday is the same day, Dan? Nice. Well, that's just going to be a fantastic day, isn't it? Your grandmother's is the sixth? Fifth. He said fifth. I picked the pentagram. I picked. No, I'm, I'm saying I, I did. All right, we got seven votes. I'm going to guess. I, I'm, hold on. I'm going to end the poll. Pentagram end the poll. Too. poll is now ended. If you didn't vote, I got it. Too bad. <laughs> it's a triangle with a circle. Are right, you got to be kidding me? Hold on. Oh, just tell us. It's a sigil. Wait for you. What? I don't even know what a sigil is. Me neither. <laughs> is it a sigil? Just <laughs> like I said, oh, I my. also. I... Oh, me and Erica think alike. I a sigil is exactly a type of symbol used typing. in magic. Uh, hold on. Uh... Symbol. Oh, but cheese. Yeah, that's right. But cheese. But cheese. I said, I said but cheese. That's I the symbol that. right there. Stupid idiot. Oh, why don't you get these? <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Um, something dynamite. You, you know, like hey. I, I thought I thought it was good. I liked it. This one's going to be, it's probably going to be tougher than you think. I am, uh, I'm more of a slasher movie guy, but I do kind of dabble in all horror. I like my slashers. Except I know, I was saying that as you were typing it, that was kind of. All right, so this one is, it, mm -hmm. all right, here you we go. go. Yeah. Mm. Which film is considered to be the first feature length zombie movie? Why is it not showing up for me? There oh, there it is. it is. Oh, jeez. And then I accidentally closed it because I was trying to open it. I can't believe you've done this. Feature length zombie movie. I can't say it now. Do I need a chill pill? I guess. I do. What, what is it? <laughs> what yeah, kind of pill depends on what you're talking about here. <laughs> what, you, what you got, buddy? Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah. Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> That's what I couldn't remember. It's full. Pina. Come <laughs> you fat, Eat your dinner, you fat lard. <laughs> <laughs> the movie is such a cult classic. I know. I saw it in the theaters because I knew it was going to be awesome. I saw Team America World Police in theaters, too, because I also knew that was going to be awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Well, I didn't, I can't pull up the question box. I don't know what it said, what it answers are. Dude, at least once a week, I go, oh, freaking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to double check the answer as well. Uh, 
Hmm. Your own CVS, huh? No, this, they're all they're all <laughs> they're all vote for Pedro. <laughs> all right. I got two. I think I know the answer. I don't know the question. <laughs> I think I know the answer. All right. So all right. We're almost two minutes in. I think we got. Oh yeah, you can't vote, so I think we got all the votes in. So I I'll... can't remember if the one is feature length though. So I don't know if it's a trick question. I want to say Night of the Living Dead, but I think White Zombie. The White Zombie's old. So I'm thinking, is White Zombie a feature length movie or was Night of the Living Dead? Because I know that movie is what made say... the modern zombie. That's what everyone thinks of as the modern zombie. I don't know these stupid questions. It's White I Zombie. I say Night. Okay. Is it? Yeah, it's White Zombie. I know White Zombie is really old. It's a really old movie. 1932. Yeah. Wow. Really? Yep. Okay. Okay. You never heard of it? Yeah, well, I mean, it was almost 100 years ago, so... <laughs> 1932. I I haven't seen it. They think White Zombie because it's the oldest? Yes. Yeah, and it's apparently cool. it's it's considered a full length. See, that's what I was, that was my thought process too, Deb. Or feature length. But I was like, was it feature length, though? I don't... I never saw it, so I don't remember if it was feature length or not. Finally, I got one right. Never heard of white zombie. More human than a human. You know, when I first saw the question, I had to, I did look it up. Rob zombie. Because I was like, white zombie, what? All right, this is, we're going back into the hard ones. Just remember, or just reminds me of the X Games. Huh? Yeah. Remember how innocent the 90s were with the X Games? Uh, yeah. Uh, BMX bike. Tony Hawk jumping gigantic things and stuff. In Midsummer, what event brings the main characters to Sweden? I did not watch this movie because this was a I hate men movie. So, no thanks. Huh. I did not watch this movie Take either. Or an hour. It was a silent movie now. I have no idea, Rika. I never saw it. Is that the dude that plays Dracula? Don't know, Eric. I never saw it. White Zombie was not a full-length movie. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, Dan. Well, I'm glad you came out and hung as long as you did, brother. Better start, uh, you know, lifting weights and doing some crunches, buddy. Good night, Dan. Good night, Dan. Glad you hang out, hung out for, for a bit with us. I haven't done a crunch in like <laughs> six months. <laughs> Look boring in my opinion, so no, I never watched it at all. Yeah. I'm right yeah, there with Erica. Never watched it myself. I just made a wild guess. Like I told Gilbert last week. Night of the Living Dead, that is my... Oh, wait. Brian, never saw Midsummer. Okay, never mind. Good night, Dan the Man. I watched the movie, I know what you mean. Yeah, see, Michael knows it's a I, I hate men movie, so I typically... I like dudes. I think dudes are awesome, so I don't like movies that hate dudes. It was full length for the time because <laughs> everything else was like <laughs> piano backed and, you know, guys running around. Haven't seen Midsummer, but I'm guessing because it seems obvious. <laughs> okay, so this next one is going to be relatively easy if you've seen the movie. Yeah, tell Just, tell her tell Lola, Lola said bye or what's up. Tell Lola we say hey. That butt whooping is coming. <laughs> I hear a lot of talk, sir. I hear a lot of talk. I think he can back this talk up. I ate a protein cookie today, so naturally you're in trouble. 
Wear a gas mask. Mask just. <laughs> All you got to do is wear a gas mask around you. Maybe you good. Dude, I was snoring so hard in that new video. <laughs> All right, end in the poll. End it. Let's see what we got. All right, what do you think yeah. the answer is? I think it. I think I guessed wrong, and I should have got, guessed the summer one. So you guessed a friend's wedding? Yeah. Well, you indeed are correct. It is a summer solstice festival. Um. <laughs> Yeah, not me. Everybody knew that one, except one person. Especially me. Did you vote? No. You abstain? Mm -hmm. You (laughs) failed. Well, I can't vote. Yes, you can. Why can't you? Pull up your phone and vote under your... Oh, I ain't doing all that. You don't do that? No. I do. It's fun. So I can make all these wrong answers. All right. So if you know, if you've seen this movie, you'll know this answer. All right. This one will be pretty easy. Well, let's see. A minute. Reekin through the roll. <laughs> I am not Reekin. I am not. Right now, I would I would walk away from the the poker table with my uh, my tail tucked between my legs. It's funny. You're looking on the internet for that stuff. I still have this from last week. Is that a game or is that a book? It's a game. Munchkin got it for a birthday. <laughs> you, need to bring it over. you need to bring it over here so we can I'll well, see if she'll play it. But uh, I'll we'll sure. see you guys next week. Take my next door neighbor's car and smash that like button. Not his hey, personal car, yeah. his neighbor's car. Oh, of course, his neighbor's car. In was... American Psycho, Patrick Bateman is obsessed with which musician's work? Ah, uh, I know is... damn good and well. You know this. Yeah, but th- this is also. Uh, hold on, I gotta mute this for a second. <laughs> um, what's funny is. Three of these answers can technically be correct. But I knew I do know the the main <laughs> Tuck Friendly, Michael, what? <laughs> Reekin is a what? A smish. A smish? A Samish? I've never seen one of those smishes. I don't know. I don't know. Are you a Samish? I had a Samish earlier. <laughs> Mets are kicking in. Brian doesn't care. <laughs> Get it, Brian. You do you, all right? Hey, you live your best life, dude. <laughs> I will guess this one. Man, we're nobody's voting anymore. Well, I'm having a hard time because I don't know. More human than uh-huh. human. Hayes guessed Phil. Not just Phil Collins. She guessed Phil. They know no. each other in person. I guess Whitney Houston. You guess Whitney Houston. The dance with somebody. Maybe he wants to dance with somebody. That's the song that popped dance in my with head. Somebody. It's the only song I could think of of hers. We only have four votes, but I will. You need to cancel this. Oh. Huey Lewis in the news. And yes, of course I know this one. I, I know it so well that I know that it could be the possible three, but I know which one they want. Michael said Collins. Erica Collins. I'm guessing watched it so long ago I can't remember. I didn't watch the 2000 version. Yes! Yes, this is the scene. We're going to get a copyright claim, by the way. Hip to be squ- 
Really? Why do you have copies of the style page all over your floor? <laughs> you got a little dog or something? A little chow? <laughs> I love how he's got all the little crosses right there. Yeah, he's got to tape them together, man. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever thought through the details of doing that, amazing. Okay. Probably laughing hysterically doing it. Ending the poll. I'm going to do my guess. My guesstimate is obviously Huey Lewis in the news. Um, but there is a mention of Phil Collins and Whitney Houston. He even gets made fun of for liking Whitney Houston in the movie. <laughs> well, I was thinking maybe oh my chair I actually Brian. had to shorten up the, I had to shorten up the uh Brian question, which made it a little less obvious. So the question was actually, uh, let me find it. But oh. he brutally murders Paul Allen <laughs> uh, to Huey Lewis. Huey Lewis on the news? Okay. I pause it. No more. No more. Try to avoid the copyright claim. <laughs> Try getting a reservation at Dorsey and now. He's been compared to Elvis Costello. Where's the music? Huey has a far more... Oh, he hasn't hit it yet. That's right. Cynical sense of humor. That is a sick act. Oh, yeah, right. That is a yes, super Alan? sick act. Why are the copies of the style section on the page? You have a dog? A little chow or something? <laughs> <laughs> chow. chow? Jared Leto? Oh. Little chow. No, Paul. <laughs> no. <laughs> is that a raincoat? Yes, it is. Got it. Seven. Huey released this for their most accomplished album. I think they're under. All right, pause it. <laughs> pause. No copyrights. No All right, mute it and then play the little awesome walk that he did. I don't remember it. Mute it and then play it. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Chad. <laughs> you never saw this, Regan? This movie is so I, good. I haven't seen it either. Oh, it's one of the funniest, unintentionally funniest movies of all times. Yeah, this okay, movie's what, awesome. What's a, what streaming ser stream streaming services? Uh, are on? That's tough. Um, um, Blu-ray um, in my house. Well, <laughs> you know I don't have a Blu-ray. Uh, Peacock. Michael, 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 you got yourself some good taste in movies, my friend. Maybe I need to swing to Paranormal 60. Yeah, what was those guys' name? Paranormal 60. Oh, yeah. They thought they were six <laughs> times better than we us. We should be here. Uh, six, six more times better than us. We should Switch watch the Paranormal movie 60. Night. Brian. That's a right. That's actually correct. Oh, man. I want to finish that movie or the. Okay. We should watch it on movie night. We could watch it. Have you guys not seen this? Like for real? There's a lot of people who hadn't seen it. I have not. Dude, you haven't? What what other movie can you watch where you can watch Christian Bale uh hit it from behind while flexing and checking himself out <laughs> in a mirror? <laughs> it's so awesome. Uh yeah, this movie's awesome. I don't yeah, we can totally watch this on a movie night. Search, search. Are we doing a movie night this? Yeah, we have Friday? to because like, we haven't done it in a while. Deb says she has seen it. You have you have seen it? Okay. Regan has not. But she said, but she says we should watch it on movie night. So I guess she could watch it again. I'm yeah, good with it. It's good. I like it. I'm actually reading the book right now. No. Yes. Is that the book I'm reading? One more second. I would love to watch it. Who else want Michael? You want to watch it? Deb me, wants to watch it. Me. Erica, you want to come and watch it with us Friday night? You don't have to show yourself. You could just put a icon thingy on there. Oh, uh, I got another movie suggestion as well. Let me find it. Hold on. Uh Sorry, I have I have not started reading it yet. 
Has anybody seen the movie called The Haunted? And Michael, Freakin, Deb. How about you, Brian? Erica? Well, I'll have to wait till she comes back because she just said she was BRB. Oh, I'm I'm reading White Noise right now. That's right. Oh, uh, never mind. She's babysitting the team on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them to join. Yeah, they can watch. Mm. You have seen it, Michael? Seen it? Yeah. I have not seen this movie, and, and I got a good review from it today. What movie? Oh, The Haunting? The Haunted. Haunted? Haunted. Yeah, I've seen The Haunting. I love the Howl's moving classic, the castle music. I have no idea what's going on. The I've Devil's never, Rejects? Never seen The Devil's Rejects. I think uh, 31 is a fun watch. What what movie, how many movies have you seen that have a little person uh, Nazi? Pretty funny. Better things to do than Ooh, hanging out with us watching movies? <laughs> this one's going to be easy. Let's see. I thought all the other ones were pretty easy, but they kind of pooped on me. <laughs> all right. Yeah, 31 was fun. Hmm. Which ones, which, 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 name one of the movies. Who? Er, uh, Erica said she, um, your kid might like, is that um, like Spirited Away? Those people, that that person, those people, <laughs> whatever. Wow, my neck. Which what film involves a supernatural entity that can be passed on like a curse through photographs? Boo. Ow. I guess you know the answer. I would recommend Spirited Away. Uh, yeah, she has, uh, because of Pintber, actually, she owns, uh, uh, my neighbor, T Tortoro, or Totoro, Tortoro, John Totoro. John Totoro. Well. The Jesus. She is quite, quite fond of, uh, my neighbor, Tortoro. And I think she's watched some of Spirited Away. She's not really, like. You can't really sit her down and make her watch a movie. She always gets distracted. Sitting still for too long is not a thing she does. I hmm. wonder who she's like. <clears throat> oh, this guy. I could sit down and watch a movie, though. I've gotten old. And... Now? If I had the time, I could have just like a movie marathon. So we got some votes for Shudder. We got a vote. It looks like a vote for Pulse, a vote for Sinister. The ring gets no love. Oh, I got this movie still up. <laughs> hey, yeah, what's wrong with that? <laughs> That's mm -hmm. awesome. Is that a raincoat? Yes, it is. <laughs> Is he like that through the whole movie, or no? Is that just in this scene? This scene. Hey, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Whack. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen this. So good. <laughs> it hasn't been that long for me. <laughs> it's been a handful of months for me. I've never seen it, so I would like to. The scene has made me want to watch it. Uh -huh. Gonna make hot dogs. Gonna make hot dogs. All right, so I'm gonna end this in, in the poll here. Uh, All about being on the end of that poll. Fifty percent called Shutter, 
And you are correct. Never saw it. Never now, saw I never it. saw it, but when you look at the different, what does shutter mean? Yeah. All right. So I guess we can end the Q and A or the uh, <laughs> Q and A. <laughs> the we're on a panel right now. Q and A, guys. <laughs> Uh, this is the easy one if you've seen it. Just buy some haze. <laughs> I don't know, Brian. Cooking hot dogs is pretty easy, bud. <laughs> She's going to make some what hot dogs. What is the name of the infamous book in uh, The Evil Dead? Oh. So is this the last one? Is that what you said? I thought you said <laughs> I mean, if everybody wants to keep going, we can, but I was going to jump into some. Uh, we had, you had something pulled up that we were going to watch, I thought. Scary I got muddled videos. up with Shutter Island. I When I first saw the question, yes, I did think Shutter Island. And Shutter Island is also an amazing movie. Is that the one with Leo? Yep. Yeah, that is pretty good. Leo and the Hulk. That's because you're obsessed with. The twist. I'm not, a big tw- I'm not a big twist guy. He's good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Twist. And the ending and the ending also leaves it open to interpretation. So I like that as well. Okay, what's the name of the infamous book? The- well, Brian, I do believe in this context, make and cook are interchangeable, sir. Interchangeable. I, I saw Shutter Island once, and I was kind of like, mm, it's okay. I'm the same, Deb. Well, twists are fine every once in a while, but if like every movie you watch has a twist, it's like, well, they yeah. sit there and just wait for a twist. If I recommend it, it's usually like, oh, because there's a twist in it, right? Got myself a farm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good for you, Erica. I told Rican. I told Rican because I'm terrified of AI now. Uh, I'm going to become a rancher and I'm going to grow crops and uh, raise cows and chickens. Wait a minute. Wait. 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 Whoa. How exactly are you going to make hot dogs if you own a farm? Do you got pigs? You're a yeah, pig do, farmer. Do chicken hot dogs? You be beef hot dogs? I've Never heard, assume. I've heard. I've heard that you should know people uh or know people who have uh pig farms just saying <laughs> yeah. they go through a I bone know. like butter yeah pigs are supposed to be really good to have yeah they go through bone like butter in one sitting that's your dream mine too but you've got to we- starve them yeah you got to starve them for a few days Chickens were too much for me to take care of, but I sure miss my my girls and my couple of guys. Chickens are dumb. They are not dumb. Yeah, they are. They're pretty, they're pretty dumb. No, they aren't. Yeah, they are. My two mean chicken roosters were dumb. Well, and somehow you think the rest of them aren't? No, I had some personable chickens. They're pretty dumb. Dumb. Sorry, though. Hey, I have a dislike for chickens because they used to be dinosaurs and we were tiny mammals and they used to eat us. So I'm <laughs> I'm holding on to that grudge. All right, poll's done. Uh, Eddie. Uh, the name of it is the Necronomicon Ex Mortis, uh, also known as the Book of the Dead. <laughs> so technically, the first two were correct. <laughs> um, I got the first. Of the two, that's what I guess. Chickens are, in fact, good eating. I don't, I don't like them like on a on like a. I don't want to like on a personal level. Not a huge fan. Uh, but uh, eating wise, heck yeah, dude! Mm-hmm. I'll push down some chickens. Yeah, I like eating chicken. I, I like, like my chickens. My animals as my babies. I can never kill them. I get too attached. See, then you'll just not have food. Ow! I I ate their eggs. I don't have a problem doing that. Unless they sat on them for a while. 
20 days. Crack it open. It's a little crunchy little baby. Ooh. I don't like chicken to eat. It's too chickeny. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> it is very chickeny. I love chicken. I eat chicken every, almost, almost every day. Almost every day, I was going to say. I'm quite fond of chicken myself. I eat it once or twice. I had to go to the store this weekend because my chicken <laughs> salads are coming back. Not chicken salad. What's up, Ten Windsor? What's up, Tim? Um, hey, Tim. I'm going to be hitting the old uh, store because the old chicken salads are coming back. Is that right? Wait, what? No. What did you just say? Chicken, sa chicken salads are coming back. With some baby spinach. Everyone else is chicken from Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, I never... Uh, <laughs> I never uh, ate any of my chickens, only their eggs. Fresh eggs. You know, we've never actually said the name of our podcast or this, uh, whatever this, whatever you want to call this, on stream Idle? before. We've live never stream? said it. Oh, never said the name of the live stream? I think I have once. What's the name of our live stream? I was thinking about it. Oh, yeah. It's got the. Wait a minute. Do we. I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm confused. Ooh, I should probably go through the playlist. These are all disorganized. Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. When I get done here, I change the, the thumbnail, and then I go to bed. I don't do the uh, put it in a thing. I, I included the... Um... Yeah, yeah. Brian said chat room. Brian likes to say this is a chat room and not a live stream. Okay, chat room. We'll go with Brian. No. Well, a chat room, though, is where you used to type and chat with people. Yeah, but we got to, you know, we got we got to go with the contrarian here. And uh... I don't know if Brian, uh, Brian, what is what do you want? What, what do you think we should do? Like dance or something? I don't dance. You, I, <laughs> you don't want to see the uh... Uh, I can. I can dance, 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 dance. Trying to make me think of a Whitney Houston song. Nope. <laughs> I can dance, 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 dance. All right. What's it off of? All right. Hold on. Go ahead. Share. Tell me. I will. Play on. Yeah, Hold it it up. It. Don't tell me it's that. awesome. Hopefully it's not copyrighted. Oh, you know it is. John LaJoy was on TV for a while. All right. Wow, that's painful. <laughs> Come on now. Hey. I just assumed it was called Paranormal 54 Livestream. <laughs> no, it actually has a title. <laughs> yep. It has a title. What a hottie. Oh, Erica. <laughs> she got Eric. them Levi's tight across his. Dude, this guy is hilarious. If you've never seen him, you need to check him out. John the Joy. His old stuff was funny. Uh, I haven't seen anything from the last handful of years. Well, Brian said actually show paranormal clips and discuss them, which we were going to do. Yeah, I mean, we were. you had those up there. Yeah, I have them up there. I have a, uh, it's a legit uh, Post Malone's first video. I don't think I've ever seen Post Malone's first video. Dude, yes, Post Malone's first music video is hilarious. I've never seen it. My favorite part is he was actually serious. 
<laughs> should call it chat chat BPT. <laughs> BPT. I wonder what <laughs> she thinks what BPT is. Uh, I'm looking for the one. Oh, here it is. I would. <laughs> this video changed my life. This is why I am the way I am. Is this video Are right you here? Stressed because of work, family, or uh. relationship problems? Are you tired of focusing your time and energy on projects and activities without seeing any positive results? Do you feel like you have the weight of the world crashing down on your shoulders? Well, we have just the solution for you. Try not giving a fuck. Not giving a fuck improves your quality of life significantly by drastically reducing your capabilities of giving a fuck. Scientists have proven that the average human being gives 60% too much of a fuck about most daily activities. Okay, can Why I move on? about your finances, your health, health, your reputation, and the well-being of your friends and family when you can simply not give a fuck about I said hi things. and you're still moving your hands. I don't know do what you want. You never move on, I said. Nope. A mustache. <laughs> and he said no. We're continuing with this video. On children, then yelling at their parents for trying to stop you. I'm not gonna be on this for lunch course. every day. What? Masturbating with stolen cheese. I'm not gonna, uh, gonna be peeing on much kids. More. Why give a fuck when you cannot give a fuck? Just listen to these testimonies. Talk. Yeah, that's a good one, Rekin. I used to like Chinese food, but now I don't give a fuck. Last night I drank two pints of gasoline and swallowed a whole box of birth control pills. For a couple hours I actually thought that I was Patrick Swayze. Not giving a fuck is awesome! You want some of this, bitch? No, no, you don't give a fuck. You want some of this, bitch? You, no, you don't give a fuck. You want some of this, bitch? Just, just say you don't give a fuck. Ah, uh, you don't give a fuck. Okay, never mind. Beware of imitators such no. as not giving a shit. Not YouTube friendly. <laughs> no, oh, technically it is YouTube friendly because John LaJoy ended up on TV after posting stuff like that. Yep. I think we should placate to Brian's needs. Actually, I don't know. Brian said he's not donating to chat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, you got you to gotta play the bumper if you're yeah, doing this. Yep. But I did. Did you see what Rekin said? I like her. Yeah, I saw that. B for, well, yeah. we already have an established name. Uh, Rekin, if you had gone back in time two years, you could have told us that. Thank you. We would have changed it. Or Paranormies. <laughs> I would have totally stole Paranormies. That's still such a good name. All right, bumper time. Oops. I'm gonna fight those guys. I almost hit the wrong one. They're Canadian, it's just like John McGoy. All right. He's playing the bumper. Oh. <laughs> you ever hear talking about getting my butt kicked by paranormies? All right. Yeah, this one. Uh, this was actually posted two weeks ago or three weeks ago. I haven't seen it, so let's see what it's all about. About yeah. Michael, why did we get a womp already, bud? Moment of a malevolent entity in his previous haunted residence. <laughs> Dino Nugget Seven Four One took proactive measures based on his viewers' recommendations. This person's legit because he their name is Dino Nugget. All his old possessions and relocated to a <laughs> new house, ensuring it had no dark history and that every item within was brand new. However, despite these efforts, it appears that the entity has managed to follow him to his new abode. One fateful night, while alone at home, he heard unsettling noises, prompting him to record the occurrences. With what his kid? unfolds during this recording proves to be a harrowing ordeal. Hashtag I already know it's fake because the TV was on a no screen. He wasn't actually watching TV. It was just on fake. Hello? 
How do you know they don't watch that? I just watched the I just watched the screensaver. I'd call mouth. <laughs> Upon hearing sudden bangs reverberating throughout the house, he investigates, only to witness boxes inexplicably moving on their own accord. However, this unsettling occurrence is merely the precursor <laughs> of escalating and intensifying paranormal activities within his home. On another ominous <laughs> night, sounds like Santa. he captures something truly horrifying. It sounds like Lee's uh, Vlad is over there visiting. Yeah, dude, you gotta be careful. Your wife's upstairs. Tyrone in the in the in the legit crap. Hello. Hello. No, 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 no. Hello. Hello. Fuck. Hello? <laughs> what do you want? He needs to do better. I agree. Hey, why well, you your streamer lights are on, buddy? Because he runs an un, uh, an unregistered brothel. <laughs> Gave him enough time to hide. Oh yeah. What the fuck? Who's gonna go through that like that? Uh, someone who's faking. <laughs> Did they just move in? Probably. Uh, yes. He said, "Cause the the entity followed him." I like how Jake and Jay or Jake's gonna be like, "What? Why do I have a subscription?" <sighs> this dude makes mind seats seem legit. Wait. Wait. Yeah. Are you trying to say that my seat's not legit? <laughs> oh, Deb dropping the poopies. Oh, lots of poops. Please tell me it's a little kid's bedroom. <laughs> Sounds like me checking under my bed. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Really? I don't. It just sounds fake. Yeah. Go the Barry route. Take some acting classes, bud. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no,
I was waiting for something like that. For the love of God, leave my house. Yeah. Leave me alone. I want that booty. Because I'm the booty bandit. As he what he's got. the stairs, a dark shadow figure swiftly darts across the hallway and into one of the rooms, prompting him to conduct a thorough search. Despite his efforts, he finds no trace of any presence within the house. Shortly thereafter, a door begins to violently open and close on its own, adding to his growing frustration and fear. Convinced that the entity is fixated on him, he grapples with the unsettling realization that it is likely attached to him rather than any object or location. Well, obviously. A father shares unsettling experiences involving his young son. And oh, it's a new I video. mean, there's more than one person that lives in that house. Yeah, he showed the little kid first. Hey, guys, is that legit or poopies? Actually, I wrote poo poo. I think we know Deb's opinion so far. Wow, I think we're going to have a unanimous poo poo. <laughs> Yeah, it would. It, it, it seems fake just how he's acting. Yeah, his acting is awful. But I mean, bordering on embarrassing, to be honest. Hmm. He's like, oh no, not again. Uh, like, hey, come down, nerd. <laughs> I think six votes is about as good as it's going to get. Oh. Boom. End poll. Unanimous. That video was poo-poo. I agree, everybody. That was garbage. This dude should have been a better actor. Should have went to the Mind Seed School of Acting. True that. attached to him rather than any object or location. Danny, a father shares unsettling experiences involving his young son and apparent attempts at communication from the other side. According to Danny, they resided in an antiquated basement apartment where he couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss. Danny would frequently allow his son yes, to roam through the pill. cavernous, empty corridors until one fateful day when the boy's curiosity was piqued by a mysterious mirror he stumbled upon. Okay, so this is the craziest shit I've seen so far. I was taking the trash out with my it's son and mouth. he kept pointing at the mirror and waving and I didn't know why. So I pulled the camera out and I can't believe I caught this. That's Rowan. As Danny's son innocently pointed at himself in the mirror, a chilling development unfolded. The reflection of another child's face materialized beside his own. Yeah. This spectral visage stared back at Danny, its presence unnerving and inexplicable. Strangely, the ghostly face bore a striking resemblance to Danny's son, adding an unsettling layer of intrigue to the encounter. However, this eerie occurrence was not an isolated incident involving the, the mirror. Fam. It's been a while since we stopped at the mirror and we were taking the dog out and Rowan wanted to go check it out. And uh, I can't believe we caught this. Whoa. Oh, look. <gasps> Rowan seems hyped and he's trying to explain to me what he just saw. <laughs> Buddy? Yeah, I don't, know. I don't know about that, bud. Once more, as Rowan gazed into the mirror, an unsettling sight emerged. A small, ghostly apparition materialized within the reflection before vanishing just as swiftly. Upon closer inspection, the spectral figure bore a resemblance to the face previously captured in the mirror, intensifying the eerie atmosphere surrounding the mysterious object. The question arises, is this mirror truly haunted? Or could these occurrences be the result of an elaborate hoax? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Paranormal invest. Hmm. I will tell you my my theory. Fake. Fake. How would he get 
sees his baby mice. <laughs> you. <laughs> so if you were to duplicate what he did, how would you do it? Uh, yes, you do need to stop. People need to stop using their children for clout. It is uh, disturbing. It's a disturbing modern issue we have. Um, oh, sorry. The first one, uh, uh, it's the same as the second one, I guess. I don't know about the kid's face, but he can obviously just green screen it in, turn down the opacity. Um, yeah, that's what it looks, especially the second one. Yeah, the just, second one looks like a just like a, a splash of smoke with a child's outline in it. Well, what I thought it was at first, I thought it was a breath on the on the mirror, but apparently not. Yeah, that's what I thought at first. Yeah, it's just a green screen, uh, a green screen. Uh, what's the thing called? Mask. An, an asset. It's a green screen asset. Overlay transparency. That makes sense. Yeah, you. But it's essentially what I said. It's, it's, you got to. Well, you, you also got to cut the baby out, which is not hard. See, that's what I was thinking, Brian. Maybe it was like a two-way mirror, and that maybe it was reflecting. Maybe. Uh, it could be, but I don't know. I don't know. I doubt it. I, I think it's probably the easiest way would just be, as Deb and I both said, just overlay like a green screen and then just turn down the opacity on it. You don't have to overlay the green screen. Just crop him in or crop him out of a separate video and then just overlay it and transparency down to like 10%. I'm thinking... Feces, baby mice. I'm thinking you might be <laughs> right on that one. Seven votes, and we are also once again unanimous that it is feces, baby mice. Boy, you guys are a bunch of skeptics. Does everybody know what that's referenced from? <laughs> Michael said, or it could be paranormal. I gotta go blast a wee pee real quick. I want to know if everybody knows what that is. You're right also, Rican, that that can happen where it has double images. But the problem with that is, is that when he turned away, he was still in the mirror. <laughs> yeah, Brian, it could be paranormal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's fire this one up. These guys look uh, pretty legit, huh? Investigators Dustin and Lisa from the YouTube channel The South CAC 2.0 embarked on a journey to the derelict Lake Shawnee Amusement Park in Princeton, West Virginia. Erected in 1926, this modest amusement park fell short of contemporary safety standards. Tragically, it is estimated that a total of six individuals, mostly children, met their demise within its confines. In 1966, the park was closed no, Brian, and left abandoned. Seriously. However, persistent tales abound that the lingering spirits of its former visitors continue to haunt the desolate grounds to this day. Dustin and Lisa commence their investigation near the abandoned swing ride the site where a young girl lost her life. In an attempt to make contact with the spirits, Lisa initiates a pendulum session. This involves posing questions to the park's ethereal inhabitants while observing the pendulum for any autonomous movements. The subsequent events unfold in a manner that is undeniably eerie. The little girl that's here, the object that I'm holding, it kind of looks like a necklace. And you're more than welcome to touch it. It just lets me know answers to questions that I ask you. So, 
feel free to answer as much or as little as you would like. Do you like it here at Lake Shawnee? That's a yes. Have you noticed it? As Lisa communicates with the spirit of the young girl who met her unfortunate end on the swing ride, a shadowy figure can be discerned walking from right to left behind the two investigators. Despite Dustin and Lisa being oblivious to the presence, continuing their investigation without any apparent awareness of what transpired, the camera captured this mysterious occurrence. One might speculate that the spirit of a deceased child visitor from the park emerged, perhaps attempting to communicate with Lisa during the session. Share your thoughts on this intriguing incident. The full investigation is available for viewing on the SouthCAC 2.0 YouTube channel. Paranormal Investi- I wasn't here for this, but two seconds. Yeah, I think that the, uh, the the part that he's pointing out is the uh, the shadow moving in the background, and the the thing that what idio motor synchrony, whatever the hell it's called. What is it called? What was she doing? She held out a string in front of her or with a little ball oh. on the bottom of it, and then it yeah, started it, to move. Idio motor function, idio motor phenomenon. Any of those work? Um, but yeah, as far as the shadow in the background, I don't know about that. That could be a lot of things. It could also be paranormal. You never know. Fair enough. And we can't, we can't go figure that out. So we just got to take that as evidence at face value. Yeah. Was there anybody else I'll there? I'll let Joe Vitale hear you say that. Make it body slammed. Any body slammed to me? <laughs> uh, he's. Uh, I just saw him post something on either Instagram or YouTube. I think it was YouTube. He was hanging out with uh, the side eye guy. Nice. The side eye guy has a side eye guy mask. What seriously? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a plastic vacuum form mask of the side eye guy logo. That's what I was wondering if there was somebody there. I mean, they didn't say how many people. If it's just the two of them, is there somebody else doing something there? Oof. What? Let me see this. It could be a. It could be somebody. Uh... Yeah, they're doing the Conjuring House right now. So wait, what? Grim Reaper. <laughs> wait, he gets a hold up. He gets a hundred on him. <laughs> I'm I'm almost to a thousand against me. <laughs> so wait, real, I can't find the video. Is he wearing a mask? Yeah, it was like a picture or something. It was either a picture. I think it was a picture. Two seconds. It may have been uh, Instagram. Uh, Jesus. We got one stream six months ago, but it's just a little, his icon. Uh, it might have been in his community tab. Let's see, let's see, let's see. No? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Here, I'll ship it on over to you. What in the world was that? She didn't mute herself by accident. All right. There you go. Sent. <laughs> it 
is so funny and dumb at the same time. <laughs> That's dope. He's wearing a side eye guy mask. Dude, what is this? Is that, uh, that is that is a Michael Moore tendon going down his neck. <laughs> That's like hanging out with the shape. You know, I I'm such a moron. I, I was sitting here looking, I was like, whoa, they're watching us today. <laughs> 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 Dumb. <laughs> Pretty funny. Two hundred on him. What? <laughs> All right. So this this lady looks. Yeah, I know he's in uh, the U.S. doing investigations. Him and uh, Joe Vitale. They they he kidnapped him. Taller than he thinks. Either he's tall or Joe is really short. I don't know, Joe. He might be really short. I mean, Brits aren't very. The, you guys aren't known for being uh, hulking monsters. So I'm just saying. I think Joe Vitoli. He was either sitting down or Michael. How tall are you again? He's like a five three. Why? <laughs> 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 300 on Richard. Why 300? What? I guess every time you question, it goes up. Oh, whatever. Throw away your money, dude. I actually, I don't know. He probably could beat up the side eye guy or fight Joe Vitoli, especially if Joe Vitoli's uh, a little person. Four eleven. <laughs> Wait, Erica, you're four eleven. Are you really four eleven? Are you joking? Your granddad was six seven, five seven, year, and your brother is six four. Really, Michael? You're five seven. That's pretty tall, Deb. Uh, I thought you were gonna say Michael. I was like four hundred on Richard. <laughs> he's going up. It's nice of you. He's just going kidding. up. Ha, 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 I tower over you, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> You're five three, short, short, yep. short, short. Erica, short stack. We have some beast over here, dude. I read that as breast. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to England, buddy. <laughs> Some Brits are tall. I mean, just in general, I don't think you guys are known for being monsters. You might have your occasional, you know, freak. It's like, well, some Brits are tall. I actually had a friend that she was very tall. She? She. She was very tall. And yes, she was English. We had some big old droopers over here. <laughs> Drooper in the lady sense, not in the bill sense. All right. This, this... <laughs> I think looking, I'm prejudging her, right? I'm going to say that she's legit. Let's see if she changes my mind. We are also the de descendants of Vikings. Yep, I am. That's why my beard I had a blonde mustache and uh, my beard. You can't tell right now, but I got a lot of red in my beard. Are you talking from your dad's side of the... Yes. He's not tall. Who, dad? Yeah, I know. It skips a generation. <laughs> no, because my munchkin's going to be tall. I don't know. Yes, she is. I ain't scared of your blokes. I got you to back me up, soccer hooligan. Yeah. 
I'm gonna be over there talking all the crap, letting you fight my battles for me. Yeah, like in uh, Bulletproof. <laughs> yeah, you me- you remember that movie? Yes, I remember Bulletproof. I right, just make sure because <laughs> you looked like confused. Didn't you leave? <laughs> that scene where he's like, "Yeah, maybe, maybe it, it was. It looks like I was hitting on your girl, but in reality, he looks around." His buddy's backing him up. I was hitting her hard, hitting on her harder than you think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that movie's great. All right. It is one of Sandler's finest. She's legit. I'm going into it with a positive mindset towards paranormal. Let's I see like if it holds up. Room, so she's got my vote. Let's see if it holds up. Eddie is like five, three foot five. I've seen it. <laughs> three five, yeah. Three five. Shh, Brian, don't tell everyone. Golly, man. I'm the smallest person on earth next to Vern Troyer. Oh, I think Deb and Ann has uh, seen him in person. <laughs> yes, I have, I have casted him in my shadow. There is actually a photo. Trafford? Is that how you say that? Trafford? Trafford? Fake! Erica said fake! Her lips might be fake. <laughs> it's alright. I'll put them to use. <laughs> it's like for innocent smooches! Eight years of experience exploring haunted places. Oh, ding dong. I claims that a peculiar what? dark presence seems to have attached itself to her, even following her home. In her new apartment in the Dominican Republic, she installs multiple cameras around her home to capture the strange oh, really paranormal activity she Republic. faces daily. One night, as Chriselle sleeps, her security camera records something unsettling. <laughs> he exposed himself last time by showing us a pic. He's definitely sh- shorty. <laughs> Oh, is she talking about something else? <laughs> you all, you know, I like to refer to that as a schlort. Schlort. As opposed to a schlong, it's a schlort. Ow. I mashed my hand. Why does this seem familiar? <clears throat> It also took me so long to go pee because uh, the munchkin I discovered was in bed but did not brush her teeth. Mm-hmm. So I woke her butt up. Gotta made her teeth. teeth. Gotta brush them. I told her while she was stumbling to the bathroom, I said, not brushing is not an option. I saw a shadow. Was it a Lee-esque shadow? No, it was just distortion. Oh, yeah. Was it? Yeah. It wasn't a shadow. It was distortion. Who would have a camera right by the bed like that? Good, good call. Eerily, a pillow at the foot of Chriselle's bed starts moving, rocking back and forth without any apparent cause. Following this, a painting on the wall slowly rotates. The sound of the painting scraping along the wall wakes Chriselle leaving her confused about the strange noises origin also are we not gonna the next night she is once again awakened not by talk peculiar about the fact sound. she went to bed with her lights on it's not a uh infrared why the hell does this look like a like a movie reenactment <laughs> it looks like ai new ai wakes chriselle leaving her confused about the strange noise's origin. The next oh night, God. she is once again awakened by peculiar sounds, but this time the unsettling noises emerge from her empty, dark bathroom. She quickly grabs her phone and starts recording, capturing something absolutely... That's different clothing she has on. She left her vibe on under the pillow. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes, Regan. Wait a minute, back it. up though, because that was uh, different. She had something different on when she pops out of the bed. See? Dude, that? She didn't, that didn't even look like her. No, it doesn't. 
time the unsettling noises emerge from her empty, dark bathroom. She quickly grabs her phone and starts recording, capturing something absolutely unnerving. <laughs> A bidet? Yep. What was that? That was her vibrator sitting on the window. Regan, did you nail this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Back it up one more time. I'm not gonna lie, that thing had some length to it. Okay, never mind. It was shampoo. Oh, shampoo bottle. Shampoo. shampoo bottle. Okay. <laughs> uh, one of those toilets could have been a bidet. Yeah. The narrator has a great voice. Yeah, he does actually. Um. Yeah, I hopped up really quick because I thought those little scumbag kids were walking up my driveway giggling. Uh, but it was actually my kid in her bed <laughs> giggling, <laughs> laughing at TV. <laughs> yeah, booty. like figure is visible moving around in Chriselle's bathroom. However, when she goes in to investigate, there's nothing there. Is Chriselle haunted by a dark presence? Or is there another explanation? Wait, Share what? your thoughts. You can watch the full video and explore more creepy <laughs> investigations <laughs> on Chriselle's YouTube channel, Chriselle Luna. Following scary video... My girl, leave her alone. Pillow looked like a fan blowing. For Dominican Republic. No, the, that was someone definitely tugging on it with a string. Same person that was laying beside her bed, moving the picture frame too. Yo, why are we all spazzing out right now? Holy shit! What spider or snake? B. Uh, a bee or a wasp? It's a big bumblebee. And it's in the oh. lamp. <laughs> He's like, get me the frig out of there. He's like trying to make <laughs> it out and he, he can't get out. So if he gets, he, out, if get he gets out, out, I gotta watch out. But it's so wild. I, th I thought it was like maybe a snake or something. <laughs> All right, Deb. Thank you for showing up. It was fun. Hi, Deb. Good night, Deb. We'll see you next week or possibly yeah, Friday. Friday. I'm not going to lie. I got much more left in me. Yeah, I don't either. You want to do one more and meme it up? Yeah. Yeah, didn't I send you some pretty good memes? Yeah. Some right. of them? Let's watch this homie and then we'll all set the memes. Wow, we up. are 100% uh, crap on that one. Yes, it's a B. It's a big bum. It's like a, I don't know. It's a bumblebee. It's like that big around. It's huge. Oh shit! I'm cold. Keep getting cold chills. You guys will literally see my <laughs> shit. You'll see me shit my pants if this guy <laughs> lands on my head or something. Oh my god! You just said I had a huge wasp trying to. Deb said she'd stay for the last one. So all right, we'll do it up is from the Fran Devil from Mexico. He shares a frightening experience. Wow. Francesco has is been that documenting the Mexican his recent Casey encounters from with the paranormal over the past few months, seeking help and advice on social media. After moving into a new house, strange things started happening to him. 
He would hear loud bangs during the day and night, creepy laughter echoed through his home, and his things would be mysteriously misplaced. Francesco believes he's being haunted by a dark and malicious entity, and judging by the comments under his videos, it seems many oh, others go. agree. In the first clip, <laughs> Francesco, who is alone at the time, hears loud noises from his bathroom. He grabs his phone, starts recording, and goes to investigate. Empiezo a grabar porque estoy collando sonidos desde el baño muy raro. Y estoy solo en casa. Hear him roll the Mars. Yep, he's good at it. Three hundred on the B. Massive B invasion at the tenants at Indian Wells. No, sir, we did not, but that sounds pretty awesome. Loud banging sounds are heard from inside Francesco's bathroom. He opens the door, finding nothing visibly wrong. But then, the shower curtain starts moving on its own, eventually falling off and crashing to the floor, as if something unseen pulled it down. Unfortunately for Francesco, this is just the beginning of his unsettling experience. Mi nueva casa está embrujada. Nice music, bro. Vamos a activar esto solo, tío. No se apaga. Se acaba de activar esto solo. A weird Hola. place for that. <laughs> oh, especially being that he doesn't have a kid. Maybe. Hola. ¿Qué es lo que quiere? Hay alguien en mi casa? Hay alguna entidad? Hola. Mira, 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 chico, mira. Francesco discovers a child's toy keyboard playing by itself and can't be switched off. A sudden loud well, the bang power starts there and you're hitting random buttons. Later that so. night, he hears disruptive noises from the opposite end of his hallway, and a door shuts right in front of him, leaving Francesco thoroughly creeped out. In the next clip, he is once again disturbed by loud bangs and bravely decides to investigate. Señoras, estoy grabando porque estoy escuchando otra vez los sonidos. Escuche. ¿Qué cojones? ¡Hostia! Coño. Se acaba de encender otra vez el aparato ese. ¿Qué Hola. Terrified by these strange events and feeling helpless, Francesco seeks help by online community. Bueno, ¿qué haces? Acabo de encender las luces. Me acaba de despertar un golpe de loco fuera de mi cuarto. Entonces yo quiero pedir a alguien que sepa de, de cosas paranormales, ¿no? Que si me puede ayudar me deje algún consejo en la caja de comentarios. Porque encima hoy me entero de que falleció una anciana en esta casa. O sea, yo me fui de mi anterior casa porque creía que era la casa y no. Hay algo que me persigue. 
y no sé si tendré un don o no, pero es una cosa de loco, señores. En la caja de comentarios, por favor, si me pueden <risa> dar algún consejo <risa> urgente de que pueda hacer, se los agradecería. Porque esto es de loco. Buenas noches. Francesco reaches out online, looking for someone knowledgeable about paranormal matters. He shares that he discovered an old woman had passed away in his house. He also expresses the feeling of being followed, recounting similar terrifying experiences from his previous home. Determined to seek help, Francesco manages to retrieve the contact details of a priest he knew from the past and calls him for assistance. Buenas, Padre José, mire que me han dado su número y quiero hacerle una consulta, si no es molestia, eh, que me están sucediendo cosas en mi casa paranormales y llevo por lo menos eh, cuatro meses con esto. Entonces, a ver si usted me, pod me podría ayudar. Mm, yo lo conozco desde que era pequeñito, lo que no sé si se acuerda de mí. Can we just uh, enjoy the subtitles are in seemingly the same language? <laughs> They are. 100%. Soy Frank. Yo creo que sí. ¿Se acuerda cuando iba a la iglesia? Con mi madre y eso. Por favor, necesito su ayuda. Francisco, yo te conozco desde que eras chico. Y no es la casa. No es la casa. Eres tú. Pero Padre José, eh... ¿Qué es lo que tengo pegado a mí? Porque ya, si no es la casa, algo tengo que tener, ¿no? Francisco, eso lo tendrás que averiguar por ti mismo. Y te aseguro que no es nada fácil. Pero son cosas paranormales. Que mucha gente se cree que no existe, pero ahí están. Lo estás viviendo en tus propias carnes. I love how we're sitting here just listening to two dudes speaking Spanish back and forth to each other, and we're trying to figure out whether this is legit or not. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, well, I mean, so is this a thing? Like, people do this? Yes. Do they really? Yes, and I hate it. <laughs> Francisco, those are some things. Every once in a while, it's fine. Yeah, but do we even know what the hell is going on? No. Nope. I know a couple are paranormal and I know at home. Muchas gracias por su ayuda. Casi. In a discussion with Father. Yeah. Vale. Venga. Following a discussion with Father Jose about the unsettling events. Really? I can't even tell. Francesco is left with a chilling revelation. It's not the house that's haunted. The entity is actually following Francesco throughout his entire life. Fortunately, the disturbances calm down for a few weeks. However, one night, Francesco is awakened by frightening noises from <laughs> another I'm, part I'm with of his you, house. I'm with you, Jeb. I know. To confront it, he decides hey, to leave his Spanish? phone recording and captures yeah, the hey, eerie sound. Look, he is a... A terrifying noise resembling raspy breathing and moaning echoes from somewhere in Francesco's house. The incident leaves him deeply frightened, convinced that whatever is haunting no, right, him is Brian. growing stronger, especially since he has never heard such sounds before. In this concluding clip, Francesco's instinctive feeling proves to be accurate. Chicos, estoy escuchando ruido super fuerte y empezando a grabar. Son las 12 de la noche. Half Ecuadorian. What is? I don't know what the, the other two are. Upon hearing another loud noise, Francesco investigates. When he turns on the light, several loud knocks follow and a creepy pale face suddenly appears at the door. Francesco, frightened by what he sees, quickly flees in the opposite direction. These clips leaves all the viewers scared, 
with many believing Francesco is haunted by something evil. However, some argue that Francesco staged the whole thing for just fame. What's your take? Do you think Francesco <laughs> is cat. genuinely is haunted, or was it all just f or was it all fake? Is that you on? Uh, oh. Is that or what is that thing? Okay. Cool. Uh it's Juan. I can't remember her name, but Bra oh the bottom half. Uh oh, Erica. <laughs> <laughs> The bottom half. <laughs> you guys like how we changed it up this time? It's uh, is it legit or dank dookies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. So, any memes? Oh yeah. Something evil that plays Fisher Price keyboard. I know, right? Well, I mean, play some dank tunes on that Fisher Price keyboard. Oh, I could just picture the side eye guy making that mask at home for his trip to America. Hilarious. I like it actually. Uh that is a unanimous uh dank dookies. <laughs> Not surprised. Yeah. I couldn't even tell what was going on, but I knew it was fake. Oh my. <laughs> Only 6% of people can handle this puzzle. These three want to share two apples equally. How do you handle this with <laughs> using only one stroke of the knife? <laughs> I love, the monkey is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> If you want this, you have no sense of humor. That right there is a fantastic meme template. Side eye guys and national treasure. Oh, yeah, he's pretty funny. Everybody approve. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> nice meme. Uh, what would you do if I started smoking? I'd slow down and use more lube. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you using the spicy one? Good night, Good night Deb. I Deb is always fun. We get the slutty ones out first. The what? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> oh, I know which one. <laughs> I think Eddie would appreciate this one. Uh, it's what I think it is. It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you Brits need better treasure. Uh, now I like side, side eye guy. He he's funny. He uh, needs to quit being so morally superior to everyone. But other than that, he's a funny dude. His debunkings are also very fun. Eddie, I thought you would appreciate this one. I did. I appreciated it deeply. I let out an internal <laughs> Okay. This one's kind of boomery. Oh boy. <laughs> That's painfully boomery. Not too spicy though. Well, oh, you can't really see anything, but you kinda know what. 
they been my, they did my boy Frank dirty. <laughs> I actually like this next one. Too bad all the paranormal memes are not funny. Except for the Jonah Hill one. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> you look better in person or in the picture. Listen, I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I like this one too. Was that meme written by me? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I got a good source, by the way. <laughs> For what memes? Yeah. This is, most of these are from one person. <laughs> uh, I used to think I was becoming more and more like Clark Griswold, but I now, yep, <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know why I, this this next one. I think of Regan. He's uh -oh. like, oh, I'm afraid. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let her rip. Not you, Eddie. No, I'm too he's, scared. He's been ripping. What are you talking about? <laughs> I've been ripping this whole time. <laughs> Rick is like, uh-oh. You kidding me? I've jacked it twice as I've been here. Oh. <laughs> That's how I, I read the speed limit signs. <laughs> <laughs> I go to speed limit, all right? I drive like a fucking grandpa. Uh, more like a grandma. That's what I. That's what I hear. Uh, but let me hold on. Let me. And I'm about to admit some stuff on stream. All right. I have driven fast enough in my life that I I'm due for some slow driving. Yes, you have. Um, I drove fast, and no, I was in my vehicle by myself. And I looked at my, and I was like, whoa, shit, you need to slow down. Talking to myself. Yeah, I've been in a car that should not be very fast. And I have gone, I believe it was 110 miles per hour. And my the, ba the back end of the car was bouncing back and forth. And I was like, what is wrong with this car? I looked down and realized I was going about 110. That car is not supposed to be going that fast. I was doing about 155 in a 45 zone. So that's uh ridiculous. I was doing yesterday 91. I think it's, nine, I think it's 95. 45. <laughs> you, do you know Smoketown, what the speed limit is up there in Virginia? You are a grandpa, Richard. But I'm a great grandma and I was driving. You know the 90. You remember where the mall was? That main road right there. Are you talking up north? Yeah, up north. Yeah. That road is smoke down, right? No, the one going across it. No, I mean smoke down. Oh, yeah. You know, right, right before you hit the bridge to where you go to the Potomac Hospital. Yeah. And you're going towards Potomac Hospital. That road is that 45 or is that how fast? Oh, dude, I don't live there anymore. Remember, hey, I have no idea what it is. Squeak. Why does steering squeak, Rican? Just tell us, Rican, why? <laughs> She'd be like, No, I was actually asking. I... Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, people are gonna do these spicy ones. Oh. Uh, that's such a good one, dude. I need that. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I think they get less spicy from here. Do they? Oh, how disappoint. Oh, <laughs> not a riddle. Mine is squeaky. Squeaky <laughs> steering could be a lot of things. Could be your. You got oil it. <laughs> <laughs> you need some more lube. You need more lube. I'll I'll send you a, I'll send uh, I'll send you a bottle of KY with your I I do I only do anal sticker. I'm gonna send you. <laughs> <laughs> That was my chair. Yeah, yeah. Was reaching some mail. <laughs> Slutty oil. <laughs> uh, reminds me, I need to put embarrassing stickers on my brother's car. True. Yes, you do. Hey, look, this guy's face. I don't know why, but it is a great meme. The meme itself is kind of corny, but his face makes it good. <laughs> yeah, I, I sent this one. No, you <laughs> sent the other one. I sent this one. I've sent this one too. I may have just sent it to Regan. No, I sent this one. I paid my taxes. The road should be fixed any day now. Good night, Brian. Brian. <laughs> good night, Brian. You, sir, have yourself a good and. <sighs> this well, one is very, very I I didn't even get this one, but let me see what it is. Now it's very boomery. Well, I have oh, it's just wait, stop scrolling. F you, <laughs> you stop scrolling, and they said that to you. That's all. It's boomery. Yeah, that's boomerang. I just thought the dog was cute. <laughs> I think I've shown this one before. Yes, you have. Yeah, that Fisher, one's your... Speaking of Fisher Price toys. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, And last but not least... Remind <laughs> Brian to go pay his taxes. <laughs> Do his taxes. Last but not least, uh, this is a if you know, you know. I don't know. Let me see which one it is. Yours or mine? I don't think you'll. I don't think you'll know this one. But here it is. <laughs> oh, that's you. It's Canadian. It's Canadian. Don't call me buddy, pal. I'm, I'm not, not your, your pal, pal, buddy. I'm not your pal, guy. I'm not your guy, fella. <laughs> oh my God. How's baby boy Vinny? He's doing all right. How's he doing, Edward? <laughs> I don't know. He licked, he, me in my mouth. he licked my mouth today. He was actually pretty good today until late evening. And he started getting into everything. It's like having a small child. It literally is like having a small child. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. Well, I do believe that would... Uh... <clears throat> that would uh, conclude this broadcast day. I do believe so. Now, little girl needs to be hanging out by the TV talking to it. What? Static. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I need to give Homeboy guys credit. reference. Yeah, I figured it. It took me a minute. I'm kind of tired too. What homeboy you need to give credit? Hey. All right, everyone. It's definitely time to hit the hay for your boy here because I'm tired. I will be snoring like I was in that members only video. <laughs> Check it out. I got to finish watching it. <laughs> Everyone, I would like to leave you with a, a Bugfoot crew and a Colin White. Praise be thy name for oh. all that is holy. 
Erica, Vinny does it all the time. I gave Everybody. lame praise to uh, the guy that we watched this video. I just stick his tongue in your mouth. That's hilarious. <laughs> Boy. Good night. Hopefully see a lot of you guys on Friday night. Buenos nachos. Oh, I want some nachos. Bongiorno. <laughs> Bongiorno, Gorlami. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, uh, yeah. everyone. Love foot faux life, Mr. Bell. Faux life. Faux. Faux. For, For show. All right, good. <laughs>